Hi, in this video we are going to talk about how we can use filters inside the data or in our Excel. So this is my data, right? And I have different type of data here. I have dates, I have text in the uh, where I have names in the form of text. Then I have amount in form of numbers. So these are three types of data and I will show you how to use filters based on different type of data. So to apply filters, you can use three methods. The first one is the short key from your keyboard, which is control plus shift plus L. If you press these buttons, then you can see that the filters has been applied. And in the header portion, you can see the arrows are now being shown. If you want to remove them, you, you can just press the same buttons again, control plus shift plus L and the filters will go away. What is the second method? From your home tab, you have option in this group, which is editing. If I put my cursor on this option, then you can see that name of this option is sort and filter. If you expand this option, then you have filters here. Now, if you click here, you will get your filters. If you want to remove them, just click again and remove filters. So this way you can apply filters. What is the third method? You need to go to data tab. From here, you can see the filter option. If I click here, I will get my filters. If I again deselect it, so I will uh, not uh, see my filters. So these are various methods how you can apply filters on your data. You just need to remember that, that you need to first click anywhere inside your data where you want your filters. So let me apply the filters again using short key, which is control shift plus L. Now, what is the advantage of you using filters? Suppose I want to filter my data based on a certain criteria or for a certain time period. So I will apply filters to my dates, right? Now, if I uh, click here, on this arrow, I will get some options where I have sorting options also. Sort newest to oldest to newest, newest to oldest or sort by color. Or I can filter data from here. Suppose I have data here which consists of data from two years, 2023 and 2024. I want to see the data only from a certain year which is 2024. So I can just deselect all of the options and then only click on the 2024. Now if I press OK, so what will happen? Excel will only show me the data from year 2024. If I uh, go down, you can see that only the data from the year 2024 is being shown now, right? More interestingly, if you want to remove the filter, you can just go here and click here, which is clear uh, filter from date. Then again, you will get your uh, normal table, which consists of complete data. Now, if I want my data to be filtered for certain months inside 2024, so I can again go to this option. And here I have 2023 written, 2024 written, deselected. Then you can see that there is a plus icon uh, which is uh, present here before your uh, tick mark uh, box. If I click on this plus icon, then I can see that it will expand in num uh, name of the months. Suppose I want to filter my data based on certain month. So how I can do that? I want my data from suppose May, April and March. I will select all those three months from 2024 and I will press OK. Now I can only see data from those three months, which is March, April and May. Now this is how you can use filters in dates. There's one another thing. Let me first clear the filter. Now, if I go to the option again, I have uh, a thing or an option written here as date filters. If I press here, I will get some options. So these, uh, with the help of these options, you can filter data according to a certain time period. Suppose this data consists uh, uh, dates from recent uh, dates like today's, tomorrow's. So I can filter them from these options here. If you want to filter them uh, according to next week, this week or last week, next month, this month, last month, you can use this option which is date filters. So if you want to use options such as before certain date or after certain date or in between certain date, you can use this, this option which is date filters. Now this is about how you can use filters in dates or for dates. Now let's talk about how we can use filters for names or text. So here I have names written in any in a random format. 
सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई फिल्टर सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू सी डेटा फॉर अ सर्टेन पर्सन सो आई कैन सिलेक्ट दैट फ्रॉम हियर दिट दिस इज वेरी बेसिक बट आई वॉन्ट टू सी हाउ मैनी पीपल विच हैव देयर नेम्स स्टार्टिंग विद ए आई वॉन्ट टू फिल्टर डेटा बेस्ड ऑन दैट क्राइटेरिया सो आई विल गो टू टेक्स फिल्टर्स एंड फ्रॉम हियर I have options such as equals, does not equal, and then begins with. So as my text contains name, and I want to filter them according to a certain name which start with letter A. So I will click here begins with. I will get a dialog box like this. Now it is asking me begins with what? I will type A. Then I can uh, use another condition also. But right now I am looking for person whose name starts with A only. Now if I press OK. so i will get only those names which are starting with letter a so this is how you can use advanced filtering now if i want to clear the filters i can go here again and then or here i have uh, another option in this uh, group which is sort and filter clear if i click here uh, all the filters will go away now suppose you want to filter for some other criteria you can again go to text filters and you can use these options such as let me go again such as ends with if you want to if you are looking for certain word or certain name which ends with a specific letter if you if your word contains specific words so you can use these different options to filter your data or you can sort them also from here now suppose you are working for a company and they are asking you that how if what is the sales done in a specific region suppose they are asking for uh, what is the sales done in the north or in the west region so you need to go to this option the uh, open the uh, drop down menu like this from here if you select west and click okay so you will get all the entries of the sales which are done in the west region only so if you want to see two regions at the same time you can select two regions such as west and east if you click here then you will get the data from two regions only which are east and west now this way you can use text filters right if you want to clear you can just press here then you have payment methods if you want to filter them uh, based on certain criteria suppose i want to see what is the what is the ca uh, cash flow or what are the transaction that are happening in cash only i can see that also from here so this is how you can use filters now let's see how we can apply filters to our numbers so here i have amounts written right so this column for this column i have different type of amounts and these are random numbers so if i go to my filters or options then i have random numbers written over here so i if i select a single number i will get a single entry like this so which is not very convenient to use so now my criteria is i am looking for certain entries which are actually less than 1000 dollars so i am looking for those values only or those entries only so for that i need to go to this option from here i need to go to number filters now if i click here so i will get different options such as equals does not equal greater than greater than or equals to less than less than or equal to right so these are my different options or i can select top 10 also if i am looking for the top 10 entries i can just press here and i will get the top 10 but right now my criteria is i am looking for those entries only which are less than 1000 dollars so i will click on less than if i press here i will get a dialog box now it is asking me for less than and what is the value so i am looking for less than 1000 now if i click okay so i will get all the entries which are less than 1000 like 609 568 right so these are all the values which are less than 1000 dollars so this way you can use filters inside numbers again if you are uh, you want to clear this filter you can just press here if you are looking for some other criteria or if you want to sort number based on uh, smallest to largest or la uh, largest to smallest you can do that also but suppose you are looking for some other thing which could be top 10 if i click here then it will ask me show top 
10 if you want to increase the number you can use that also if you want to decrease you can use that also if you click here then you will get the top 10 uh, amounts from this section and this is your table now so if you want to clear the filter just press here and this way you can apply filters to your numbers data now what is the benefit or what is the other use of using filter suppose right now you are using filter and you are looking at the data but uh, someone asks you to prepare a sheet which contains only that specific data suppose someone in your company is asking you to provide them the data which contains only the sales from a certain region which is west so what you will do you will just go to this uh, filter and you will select west you will press ok now if you click anywhere inside your table or data and press control a so the whole data will get selected now as you can see there are certain gaps in between some numbers in row number right like after one we have number directly as nine so all the other rows are now hidden but they are not uh, but they are part of this data but right now they are not visible so if i control c or copy this data and i paste it to different sheet like in this case if i press here let me just control c copy and paste the data here so here now i have a new table which contains data from a specific region which is west only so this is how you can use filters and copy your data and create new table or new data right so this is the advantage of using filters if you want to again remove filter clear you can just clear it from here so that's all for this video thank you